Hi friends, I'm Nancy Novak. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and what that means is I make cards and crafts and I use Stampin' Up! products because I think they're the best. They're beautiful, they're easy to use, and there's a lot of good qualities about them. So that is what I like to use. And today I am using a stamp set called Coffee Cafe. And I made a couple of gift card holders and here is one of them and this is the sentiment from the stamp set and it says happiness is a cup of coffee shared with a friend and I made this with an envelope I actually used a um, note card envelope which is a smaller envelope and I've got some jute twine on here that I just tied in a bow and when you open it it's got the little coffee cup there that I cut out and it says thanks a latte and then this flips open and that is where the gift card goes. So I have made a lot of these. I do have a video out there. If you would like to see me make this video with the Coffee Cafe set, I would be happy to do it. Just leave a uh, comment at the end of the video. But to the one I'm going to show you today is this one. And this is made with the mini treat bag. And I added all of the little elements from the coffee break suite and let me show this to you really quick so we have the stamp set and here is the Stampin' Up! catalog and on page 30 and 31 it's called the coffee break suite so here's a little photo of a lot of examples of things that the Stampin' Up! team made and here is the stamp set and then it has a lot of designer series paper which I'm going to show you that in a minute and there is a bundle which cuts out a lot of these shapes and there's other accessories like cardstock and ribbon. So let me show you some of this designer series paper real quick because it is just beautiful. So this is one of the papers that we're going to use today. So there's 12 sheets, they're double sided and they are 12 by 12. So we're going to use this one today, you'll see that in a minute. We're also going to use some of this today with all the little coffee cups and the green leaves. Some pretty this is I think soft sky and here's chocolate chip and here's some coffee beans and a pretty garden green stripe and then we have the leaves in the chocolate chip color and then again the dots the other side of this are hearts and the coffee stains and then this wood grain look so this paper, like I said, it's all coordinating with cardstock and ribbon and everything else. So let's get started. I will have all the dimensions for everything that we use today on my blog, and I will also kind of shout them out as we are using them. So the first thing I want to do is the big shot work. We need to cut out some pieces, so let me get my big shot and we'll get that done really quick. So I'm using the magnetic platform and I have my designer series paper and this is part of the um, mini treat bag and we just have to sandwich it in here like this and then roll it through the big shot. other part of the treat bag. So that first piece is a six by six inch square and this is a six by about three and a half inches. Roll that through the big shot. So next we are going to cut out some ovals and I have a whisper white oval, a soft sky oval, and these are from the layering oval framelits. And here I stamped a little, it says thanks a latte and that is the stamp from Coffee Cafe and this is one of the little framelits that comes with Coffee Cafe. It's another oval and we are going to sandwich this in and run it through the Big Shot. So 
here are the pieces that we just cut out from the Big Shot. We have our ovals and the little Thanks a Latte oval and the two mini treat bags. And I have added tape, which I will talk about in a minute. It's double-sided sticky tape. In addition, what we need is a piece of Whisper White. And this is four and three quarters by two and a half. And I have a piece of chocolate chip that is four inches by two inches. I have a piece of green designer series paper that, this is about four and three quarters by an inch and a half. And then I have the little dots that is again about four and three quarters by one, it, one inch. So what I do with this is, this one I already cut out with the banner. So let me show you how this works. So I want the hearts to be laying this way, so I want my banner to be at the bottom. So I am going to put it in my triple banner punch. And there you go, it creates that nice edge at the bottom, that banner look. Then I took this designer series paper and I cut out a few of these little coffee cups. I'm going to cut them out, I'm going to fussy cut them. There is a piece that will cut out these cups, but I also want to use this cup here. So I am just going to fussy cut this out, and when we get done, we're going to add this to the bottom of our treat bag. So let me cut this out real quick, and I'll be right back, and we will continue making our gift card holder. So here are the pieces that I just cut out, and I do want to show you this little framelit, and it does fit right on these little cups. So you could just run this right through the Big Shot and the Big Shot would cut it out for you. But I don't mind fussy cutting. I think it's kind of relaxing and fun. So I just fussy cut them real quick for the video. So now we'll put it all together. So let me get this out of the way for the moment. We'll make our bag first. So the bag is in two pieces and you have to fold it on the score lines. And I put double-sided tape on this piece of the score line right there and I'm going to attach it right here. So the way I did that was, so again I have the double sided tape here and this piece here folds up so when I line it up I like to crease this take off my double sided tape And then I can kind of just line up the fold with the edge and I just kind of push it down onto this area right here and it seems to just line up perfectly. So see, it's right at the bottom there, lines up. Then I have a piece of double-sided tape on this side, and it's going to fold over like that. So we'll take this piece of tape off. It's that easy. And then we'll take the bottom piece of tape off and fold it up. And the bag will be done. That's the back of the card, so we'll flip it over. See how it's got that pretty coordinating look? So the next thing we have to do is put the banner together. So I have my piece of chocolate chip, and then my first banner that I'm putting on here is the green. So I just centered it, and I'm attaching it with the snail. And then I'm going to add the dots. So I'll put snail on the back, and line it up at the top again, and center it. There we go. And then what I did was I centered it on here and I actually stapled it right at the top with the little mini stapler. And I'm going to add a bow later to cover that up. So I just kind of 
crease this up like that, and this is going to fit in our mini bag like this. And I have a bow made, but let me show you real quick how I did it. So this is a soft sky ribbon, and I just made the bow on my fingers. So let me show you real quick how I did that. I just put it over two fingers. I brought the bottom up, and I put it right in the center, and I pulled it through, and I have my thumb underneath here, and I just wrapped it around underneath the thumb hole, grab it, and I'm closing my fingers so the bow is smaller, and pulling on this piece that I have in my hand real tight. Then I'm going to slide it off my fingers, and there's our bow. So you just play with it a little bit, make it look pretty. angle the ends like that and I'm going to get a glue dot and attach it right where that staple is with the glue dot so that's that then I'm going to bring in my ovals put some snail on there center this one on and then our little sentiment oh. that in the center. Then I'm going to take a dimension, if I can find them. And pop it up. So let's take two of them should do it. And I'm going to put that right in the center of this banner. Like that. And then I'm going to bring in the pieces that we cut, and they're going to go there. And I'm going to put them on with a the dimension. done. I think um, on my original one I also add, added a little twine bow right here. So again, I'm gonna, I think I'll do a double so I'll wrap it around twice and put that through the little triangle there. Under the loop that is on my thumb. It's always hard to make bows on camera, so let me do that again. Oops, plus the twine is hard to hang on to. Just got to keep practicing, it works eventually. There we go. Pull it tight. Slide it off your fingers. So that's a double bow. Just wrapped it around twice, did the same thing. And you can adjust it once it's off by pulling on these loops. And let me see my glue dots again. So I'm going to attach it with the glue dot, and as I do, I'm kind of going to squish that glue dot so it's not quite so big and round. Push it under that little knot of the bow. So just play with it a little bit. It'll turn out beautiful. You can kind of shape it, and that's it cute, don't you think? So what I'm planning to do is slide this out and add a gift card right here, and I would actually attach that 
with a glue dot. So let's see if I can do that real quick for you. So here's a, or you could do it with a dimensional, but I think a glue dot's better, not so permanent. So just take a maybe one or two glue dots. Oops, got my finger. And then you can attach it to that white piece. See, it's stuck, sticking. Slide it in there like that, and there you go. So that's it, a couple of gift card holders with the Coffee Cafe stamp set and the beautiful designer series paper. And I hope you liked the video. If you did, please click like and subscribe. That way you will find out whenever I am posting a new video. And I don't know if you noticed or not, but I had a little helper here uh, through my whole video, and that is Stella. Stella! And she's a Maine Coon cat, and she likes to stamp too. She keeps me company. So anyways, that's it for today, and I will see you next time. Bye!